Thank you for buying the LifeEdge waterproof iPad case. This video will complement the fitting instructions you have received with your case. Before fitting the case, use a microfiber cloth or something similar to ensure the case and your iPad are clean, dry and free of dust and debris. Place your iPad into the back part of the case, ensuring that the iPad is the correct way up. Place the front part of the case on top. Position the bottom two corners of the front part so that they locate into the groove in the back part. Turn over the case and lay onto a flat surface. Then take one of the strut accessories included with the LifeEdge iPad case. Using the strut, place into the top left corner and ease the front part of the case over the edge of the back of the case. Work around the edge of the case with your hand, working from the corners inwards. Make sure you get a positive click when pressing the seal firmly in place. Your iPad case is now fitted and ready for use. The strut accessory can now be used together as a handy stand for your LifeEdge iPad case. Simply clip onto each side of the iPad case. This stand allows for a portrait or landscape view when using FaceTime or browsing online. If you're planning on using this case in a wet environment, after fitting the case you must test the seal by submerging underwater. If you see a small number of bubbles, this is simply air trapped in the exterior features of the case. However, if a continuous stream of bubbles appear, then do not use. The case has not been fitted correctly. You should check that the front of the case is sitting in the groove of the back part of the case and then repeat the test. If you are using your iPad in a hot or humid environment, then place the silica gel sachet between the back of the case and iPad to ensure the condensation found in humid climates is absorbed and doesn't negatively affect the functionality of the iPad. If the seal is dry or difficult to fit, then apply a small amount of lubricant directly to the groove on the back part of the case with your fingertips. Remove any lubricant from your hands before fitting the rest of the case.